my name is Uncle Hunter, and today we're going to be making shrimp at toupee. So these are all the ingredients you're going to need. Light salt, Tony Sassery's Original Creole Seasoning, Jadaran Shrimp and Crab Boil to give it that good flavor. Tony Sassery's Light Salt, I mean Salt Free, Seafood Stock, Black pepper, shrimp with only the tails and the cells on them, no head, bell pepper, coriander seed, sepulchrum, toasted onion and garlic, paprika, black pepper, gar one garlic. I already used uh, a garlic coal from this one, but this will do because you don't need that much. Some celery, a whole onion, green onion, and if you want, you can get mushroom for the end or something to give it that flavor if you want, up to you, your decision. So, I'm going to start going to peel shrimp and I'll be back with So it. now, it's time for it to devein, devein or shrimp. So you want to grab a shrimp. So, you see the tail. So you want to try to take it off. Then you put it in a container. Cause you want to keep all your shell because we're going to make a shrimp stock even though we got seafood stock but i just want to make more just in case so now you want to start taking off my legs or the shell so try to take off the legs in the shell and put it in here so grab some of the legs and shell and it just came pretty much right off. So then make sure there's nothing left on it. Just fill all around. If you fill a shell or something, then take it off. So then now you want to grab a little knife, cut the back of it, and make sure there's no poop. Okay, I don't see any poop. So let's just wash it just in case. And then take it, put it in the container. And let's go to the back of the So grab it, throw it So now, first, take off your leg. So you just kind of, kind of like pinch it. Just kind of grab it. on the going up to the side and you can see how that the shell starts to come off and it's starting to come off beautifully and it's starting to come off and the tail came off and you put that in there and then you need to devein it but I think I forgot to devein it on the other one so then let's rinse it you put it in here and let me bring that other one just in case. I didn't do it just in case. So then you want to wash it. And then you want to put it in the container. And that is how you peel shrimp. So now we're going to chop up our garlic. So what you want to do, get one garlic coal. So we're going to be using two garlic coal. So then put a metal knife, do not use a ceramic knife because it will mess it up and then put it right on the garlic coal and then bang it. Keep on banging it. So I just need to bang it some more. So then now, it's all um, black, but then you want to start peeling it. So, let's try to peel all this stuff off the garlic coal. And by the way, I'm using two garlic cloves. So now, I did that. 
So I'm just gonna cut these tiny little things that are brown. If you see those, you can cut them if you want. So then let's move that to the side. And then let's break this art out of garlic coal. Bang, bang. Let's keep on banging this. Try to do one big bang. Bang. Let's keep on banging it. And feel like smash where you can feel it. So then I feel it. And this is a big garlic coal, by the way. And these are the sides of them. So then now, move all your feelings over here. And garlic is sticky, by the way. So now, go and cut off this little piece. Carefully. There we go. And this like this is fine. So then you just wanna make them flat, as flat as you can. And try to get all the feelings off. And then that right there. Okay. So then mix them up. So this is how I'm doing this. I'm putting my hand right this on the knife and I'm doing this. Kind of like, almost like rocking a boat. Like rocking a boat. So then, just keep on doing that. Or keep cutting it up. So then, gather it all together. And then, do the advent. Gather them up. After I move this pillow. Just move all the pillows off the chopping board or something, or throw them away. For now, I'm just gonna move on. So then, get all of these, and one thing, like this, and then, let's do it again. So now, I'm gonna bring it back. And then do it again. So here's the last of the garden. So you want to get it all. And then do that where you don't mess up the blade. Scatter the rest of the garlic. Carefully, don't cut yourself. And then, let's do that. And then, so I have all my garlic in this little bowl. So now, we're gonna cut up some other vegetables, such as onions and bell peppers and celery and all that, and I'll be back with you. So now, what you wanna do, slowly take one off. Don't mess it up. Okay, so then you see all this dirtiness right here and right here all around. So you want to wash it off with some water. Wash it on this side and then wash it on the other. That looks like a tile, a boat. So then shake it a little and then bring it over here. So then you want to cut this off. And then move back to the fry because you don't need that. And then, so then, you want to cut this off too. And it really dropped the cut. Because it needs some strength. At least some a little. So now, what you want to do is grab a small little knife. And then, try to take the string off. So there's some more string. And then... Oh, all nice and easy. And then there's some spring that I can hold on. So then.
and just keep on pulling off all the string and I'll be back with you. So now what you want to do is cut it. What you want to do is put your finger like this, like a wall. Put your fingernail where you don't cut yourself with a knife. Goes like this and it doesn't cut you. So, so then you have your knife like this. Do this. Push down. Move it. Push down. Move it. Push down. And kind of like you're walking your boat almost. Kind of like that move almost, but not quite. So then, down. Up. Down. So just continue doing this and I'll be back with you. So now what you're going to do, I cut my celery. So then, what you want to do with your bell pepper, cut it. And, and this is close to half a bell pepper. So what you want to do is you see the core right here and right here. You want to take so this out. So you want to cut the core and the seeds out. So this is how you want to cut it. So then you come right here where there's the main part of this part of the core. So then let's get a smaller knife where it's easier and better. So then just kind of make like a circle. Same for the other side. Just try to get that. Just try to cut it off. And then just pull it out. There's most of the core and there's just a little bit left. So you just want to pull it this way. And then cut. Pull it off. Then, this is your bell pepper. Got any seeds or anything that's in there? If there's one seed, it hmm, won't matter all that much. So then, this is what it's supposed to look like. So then, time to cut it. So then, let's get a bigger knife. Do the wall again with your finger. Well, you don't cut your finger. And just cut. Carefully, slowly, like I'm doing. So just keep on doing this, and I will be back with you. So now I got it all into stripe. So you want to try to get them all lined up. Do your wall, cut nice and good. Try to keep them all together. If you can't do it this way, just do less of them. So then, let's see. Try to hold them all together. Just keep on cutting, and I'll be back with you. So now we cut the valve of them into really fine stuff, and then we put them in a container with all the other stuff and the garlic in a different container. So now. It's time to cut an onion. And sometimes it might get in your eyes where you start to cry almost. So then you cut the hairy parts off. And then the other hairy part off. Really tough to cut. For some reason. So now you want to cut it in half. Use all your strength if you have to. So just try to cut this in half and I'll be back with you. Okay, I have to get a bigger blade to be able to cut this because this is one tough onion. So just push down as hard as you possibly can. Yeah! And two half, like a boss. So now, you want to flip your onion, 
and then you want to peel them. So put your knife away and then start peeling it and I'll be back with you. So now it's time to cut the rest of our onion. So what you want to do, move this one to the side. So then slowly like this, put your hand at the top. Don't cut all the way through like I just did. Well, let's try this onion. I'll put this one to the side. We are going to do this one later. So, probably do some. Not too much. And then one more time. So now, it's time to cut the other way. Boom. 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 And boom. So now let's do this one. Black like another ball. So now let's do the same thing for this one and this one that I kind of messed up and then I'll be back with the rest. So now what you want to do is cut your green onion. So what you want to do now is cut right here and then you can save this the chive for potatoes and other stuff. So let's put this to the side. And so what you want to do let's get a small knife. Just cut it like this. You kind of push down and I'll be back with ya. So now what you want to do is get a pot and then put five cups of water in it and then put all your shrimp shells and tails and stuff in it. And if you have tail, I mean head, go ahead and throw that in too. It's going to help make your stock. Even though I've got a stock over here, I'm just going to make extra stock. So all you want now is a small little pan. So just get a big pan and a small pan. The big pan is going to be for your onions and stuff. And the small pan is going to be for your roux. So let's get half a cup of oil. Carefully pour it in here. Kind of scrape it. And get it in. And then let's get some flour. So, what you want to do is turn it up about halfway. And this is my first time making a roux. So now, you want to slowly put in some flour. Put all your flour in. And this is one third a cup of flour by the way. So now, Get a tool like this to be able to scrape the bottom. So, you want to kind of mix it well with the oil. So, just keep on mixing it. And you can always have some more flour or oil or whatever you need. So, try to get rid of all the lumps. And just, so, just get rid of all the lumps and keep on cooking it until. It starts looking like a roux, and I'll be back with you. So now, this is what my roux looks like. So, I made my roux. So, what I am doing, so this is what I did. So I put some corianders in there, and the um, um, shrimp stock that I'm making. Make sure you put it in coriander in there while you're doing, while it's boiling, while you're making the shrimp stock. So let's keep on stirring our room and let's stir our shrimp stock. And by the way, you don't need to get a pot with onions and stuff. Just keep all your onions how it is and I'll show you in a little bit because my dad's making um, a, 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 a different recipe for an extra face. And so I'll get a pot and get my onions and all of my vegetables and I'll be back with you. So now we cook our room. And you want to get a big pot. 
and then you want to get all your vegetables and stuff and oil. So grab a little oil, put it in your pan, about there, like a ball, and then put the lid on, and then these are your chives and garlic, and whatever the vegetables are called. Just grab all of your vegetables and just throw them in. Throw them in. Yeah. And hit it. And then grab something to stir it, a spatula or something. And then just stir it. And make it work nice where you can, um, where it's translucent and stuff and salt. And I'll be back with you. So now we've been cooking our vegetables down for a while. And you still want to cook it down just a little more where there's more space for your roux and your sauce and all that for the extra fat and front. So what you want to do at this point is grab your sauce. Let's grab it with your hands and make sure it's all very good. And then you got to strain it. So just continue straining it and I'll be back with so you. So now we put the onions and stuff. So, I know what are three plant loose in. We put all of our vegetables. So then you want to slide them. And then put all of your vegetables in this pot, this bigger pot, not like a skillet. Into a big pan. And then let's get the rest. So you slowly get all of this in and just shake it a little. Bam! So now we got our grab a roux. So we grab it. And so then you want to slowly start putting your roux in because it's all tough. So you gotta, gotta scrape it, and I'll be back with you. So now it's about all of our stuff in. Now we're ruling vegetables, so you just want to stir it. And then slowly, you just use some piece of stock from a store. And slowly put a little bit of that, and a little bit of the seafood stock that you um, made. Like, this. So keep on doing that and make mixing the roux in and cooking it and I'll be back with you. And by the way, I added a few drops of the jatterin crab boil into the um, seafood stock I was making when it was with the shrimp and the coriander seed and also with my onions and all of my vegetables when I was cooking them. Just a few drops. So what you want to do is get about a teaspoon, not quite a teaspoon, of every ingredient. Well, for um, the nose all coming at first. So not quite a teaspoon, maybe a, a little over half. So just sprinkle it around. And if the notes all coming. And then so just pour this. Sprinkle it around. And then that or those seasoning. Get about a teaspoon of white salt. And that was um regular Tony's by the way. The white salt, one whole teaspoon, about a teaspoon. A little over a teaspoon of a teaspoon of So just sprinkle that. Just sprinkle about half a teaspoon of the salt because we're going to be making it like um, low in sodium. So that's about half. And then let's put it in. That's in. And then let's get a whole teaspoon, a little over a teaspoon of that all put on, poked it on in the garlic. 
going to go that around. And then I hold this one up. Paprika. And then about half a teaspoon of black pepper. So let's even it out. Let's drop now. Sprinkle that in. And then mix the ingredients well and continue cooking and I'll be right back. And if you want some more seasoning, like some more spice to it, just add some cayenne pepper, baby. So now it's time to put our shrimp in. And by the way, I'll put some more chef or food on my put in my hand. You could just keep on adding it. Or you don't have to add any. It's up to you. Your choice. And it still tastes really. So at this point, it's boiling. It's at this the stove is at hot um halfway to to cook it. And then I'm gonna go in all of my shrimp. And then just mix it in and just maybe cook it for about five, ten minutes. Um cook to cook the shrimp, but that would only take like four or five minutes. But you also wanna um make your roux doesn't taste don't taste that much as roux. And then you're gonna have to bring it to a steamer which I'll show you. And I'll mm -hmm, tell you and I'll get back to you when I'm done with this. So now we've been cooking the shrimp and stuff, and it's done. So I plated it with um, um, pickled onion, and then I put four shrimp on the side, and parsley everywhere, and then the sauce for my shrimp at the bread, and it's low sodium. So, it's time to bite into this. So now, yeah, take a bite. Mmm. That's good. A little spicy. <coughs> so let's try the shrimp. Mm. That's like a perfectly good shrimp. You don't have to plate it like this, but mmm, mmm, man, that's good. And don't forget to subscribe.